everybody, it's Jenny, and I am here with a special guest, my son Craig. Hello. And we are here to review the book, The 14th Goldfish by Jennifer L. Holm. I'm going to start off by reading the synopsis on the Goodreads website, and then we'll get into the discussion about the book. The description says, Galileo, Newton, Salk, and Oppenheimer. Science can change the world. But can it go too far? 11-year-old Elle has never liked change. I'm sorry. She misses fifth grade. She misses her old best friend. She even misses her dearly departed goldfish. Then, one day, a strange boy shows up. He's bossy, he's cranky, and weirdly enough, he looks a lot like Ellie's grandfather, a scientist who's always been slightly obsessed with immortality. Could this pimply boy really be Grandpa Melvin? Has he finally found the secret to eternal youth? Okay. So this book was sent to me by NetGalley as an early review copy. And while I read it and I loved it, it is a middle grade book. So I decided that it would be a good idea to have my 10 year old read it as well and come on the video and give his opinion of it. So Craig, overall, yes. what did you think about the book? It was good. You really liked it? Yep. Okay. What did you think of the characters? Uh. They were good. My favorite was Grandpa Melvin. This book has a very big science aspect to it. Did you find that interesting? Yes. Yeah? What did you think about the idea of trying to find the fountain of youth or trying to find a way for people to stay young forever? Well, I thought it shouldn't be real because if they found the way to eternal youth, mm -hmm. basically the world's population would be overflowing with people yeah so at but if grandpa melvin only found the fountain to youth and he never shared it with anyone else that that then everything would be fine there would so just if be only he was the only one who used it it would be okay but if everyone started using it, it would be too many people yes yeah that would make sense i see where you're coming from with that but do you think there are benefits to getting older well, yes, because for one, it's it has to do with nature, and it's actually good for the environment, right? Okay. Right? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, and, and plus, like I said, the world would be overflowing, so getting older and older and eventually dying would actually be good. Okay. Now, with the mention of famous scientists in the book, such as Oppenheimer, Saw Galileo. Did you find that part of the book interesting? Yeah, kind yeah. of. Did you want to learn more about those people? N it, not really. Not really? But my favorite part about that part mm -hmm. is that um, when Grandpa Melvin were talking about them, and, and um, I think Grandpa Melvin said, you want to know the best part about them? And uh, Ellie was like, what? And then she, he was like, they never gave up. Do you like that part? This book, as we've talked about, has a very big science background to it. Yeah. Everything in this book is about science. Did you find that part interesting? Mm, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Now, in the book, from the beginning to the end, Ellie is a new sixth grader who's just left fifth grade, and she's dealing with all the changes through that. You're going into fifth grade, and you're going to be going into sixth grade next year. Did you kind of relate to some of those? Um, those fears and anxieties and nervousness? Mm, I don't know. You don't know? Probably because you're not going into sixth grade yet. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So, on a scale of one to five stars, yeah. what would you give this book? Five, because I really, really liked it. You really, really liked it? Would you recommend this to your friends? Yes. Yes. Would you recommend this to your teacher and to your librarian at the school? Probably my science teacher and my librarian, yes. Yeah? Do you think that this would go good in fifth grade since our school really focuses on science in fifth grade? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So that was our review of The 14th Goldfish by Jennifer L. Holm. This book does come out in September. I will leave the release date and all the information down below, as well as a link to Jennifer L. Holm's uh, website and all of that. We really appreciated getting this book from NetGalley, and we really appreciated um, Jennifer letting us read this book. And overall, we give it four thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Four thumbs up. 
All right, if you like this video of Craig here, um, I do have another son, a 12-year-old, who will also be coming on the channel and giving reviews and things like that. If you like this aspect of the kids giving their opinion as well, give this video a thumbs up so we know that you like this. And also be sure to subscribe for more videos. And as always, all my links will be down below. And yeah, leave any comments that you'd like. We'd love to have a discussion. I think even Craig will answer some of the comments if you have questions for him. Okay. All right. And on that note, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.